Hi, Smoke. Those are eyes of wisdom right there. Smokey and I were just playing upstairs, which is great because we haven't really done it in a while. Uh, as you can see, he's getting old, but he's still very active and he's still very hungry when he eats. He freaks out, which is a good sign. He's just thin. But I'm not going to lie, I do uh, worry about him sometimes. Because he's my smoke with dough. Mwah, 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 mwah. I know, very manly. Coffee! Stockton, I miss you every day. I really do. So, as you can probably tell, I am at my parents' house for the weekend. Today is Friday, August, blah, blah, blah. I don't even know the date anymore, guys. What the? The gate's in my way. Hunter, really? That's a great place to lay. Good boy. So I'm here until Sunday watching the pets because my parents are in Seaside Heights again. It's kind of their new annual thing where they just go, you know, just them two, to Seaside Heights for a couple nights, uh, which is fine with me. But, oh, Jazz, you okay? Totally just walked in the out. Um, which is fine for me, me because it's my excuse to do absolutely nothing over the weekend except for play. Splinter Cell Blacklist. Yes, the game is amazing so far, guys. I actually beat the campaign last night. It was really good. Um, it was a very, very nice mix between stealth and assault because you can choose between ghost, panther, and assault. I forget what the third one's called. Hunter, come on. Maybe the third one is called assault. Come on, Jess. Uh, but it was, a, it was a really good balance. When did you say so, pants? And jammy on. Really, Hunter? My God. But as you guys know, the main thing I'm looking forward to is Spies vs. Mercs. I cannot wait to play it. Now, you're probably wondering, David, if you love it so much, why haven't you played it already? Well, because I'm very old-fashioned when it comes to this sort of thing. I like to beat the campaign first of a game. I actually said this last weekend, and then I jump in the multiplier. Same goes for any series out there, whether it's Splinter Cell, um, Call of Duty, Battlefield, Halo, whatever. It's just what I do. Hey, I even did that for The Last of Us, but... That's really not saying much, because The Last of Us storyline was amazing, and the single player is actually really good, but people buy The Last of Us for the single player. But then in an hour or so, it's 12.47, by the way, August 23rd, there you go, there's a date, I am going to be driving Chris to work, because his car is still getting tr the transmission rebuilt. I don't know, I don't really know much about cars, except for I just like how they look and how they sound. That's just me. Um, so I'm taking him to work, and then... There just happens to be a Wawa on the way back, so I'll be stopping there for lunch and probably more coffee. And then I will be playing Spies vs. Mercs all day and most of this weekend. I can't wait, guys. I seriously plan to become one of the best players because I don't think you understand how much I truly loved Spies vs. Mercs and Pandora Tomorrow and Chaos Theory. It was that good. Hunter, why don't you just go on the couch and relax instead of just standing on two feet? He's dead. Nope, he's alive. False alarm. He's dead again. Oh, and he's alive again. By the way, I've noticed in my recent weekend vlogs, I've been talking about gaming a lot. I'm going to try to tone it down here and there because I realize I do have a lot of viewers that are not gamers, so I apologize if I'm boring the crap out of you. But you know what? This is my life. This is just me talking, and that's honestly a big part of my life, gaming. I've been gaming since I was a little baby. Not a baby, that doesn't make sense. But I've been gaming since the days of the Atari 2600, ColecoVision, and eventually the NES. And I'm sure some of you haven't even heard of the ColecoVision. It's that old. What up, peeps? I just dropped Chris off at work. Huge success. And I went to Wawa. I got a turkey sandwich, Gatorade, and a 20 ounce coffee, as well as The Last of Us. I got it back from Chris. Sorry, that's probably really loud. Like I said, it's always louder on the video than I intended to be. But yes, I actually got The Last of Us back, guys. Within like a month of letting Chris borrow it, this is a new record for our friendship. We're going far in life. Seriously, like I said, Max Payne 3, it took me like a year to get back. I think they still have the orange box, which I gave them like two years ago. <laughs> it, it's all it's all good fun though, I don't mind. But what's funny is, I don't really care about The Last of Us as much as I used to because my new obsession is going to be Splinter Cell, Blacklist, Spies vs. Mercs, as of, well, 
in a couple hours after I eat lunch. So that's gonna be awesome. It's time to give the dogs a new bone each. Hunter Pants, this is for you. Body of Christ, amen. Enjoy, it's pretty big. And Jasmine, who likes the tiny bones. Here we go, ready Jazz? Good girl, oh, Jasmine, it's under you. Good girl. She's freaking adorable, but she's not too bright. No offense, Jasmine. And now it is time for the highlights of my day. Splinter Soul Blacklist, here we go. I'm starting Spice Verse Mercs. Guys, I'm so freaking hyped. Been waiting for this moment for the longest time. Okay, not that long. But thankfully, time goes fast. Whoa! Where's the freaking. Oh. This is the one I need. Switching between all these remotes. That's right. The this is what's annoying about this Pioneer TV. The input doesn't show up until I activate whatever device is hooked up to that input. Not the best design in my opinion. But then again, this TV's alright. It's a plasma by the way. This thing sucks power like a mother. Do not go plasma unless you absolutely need to and you prefer it. Just go with LED LCD. Save power and in my opinion, it looks just fine. It is already 9 p.m. Yes, I haven't updated you guys that much today. Tomorrow, I'll probably vlog more. I mean, I'm not really doing much today. I didn't really go outside, do anything too interesting. Shane, you good? My God, you scare me when you do that. You almost fell off the tower. Shaney needs, need, nudes? Shane is nude. Shaney needs to lose weight. Mwah. He hates it when he whispers his name. He freaks out. Hunter. Hunter Pants. <laughs> Chill, dog. Literally. Because you a dog. Anyway, uh, Chris has a ride home tonight. So I don't have to pick him up. So I'm going to use this time to play more Spies vs. Marks. Well, I'm going to have a tomato and mayonnaise sandwich. Which, according to David Banther, is a very southern thing. I never realized just tomato, mayo, and white bread is a southern thing. Who knew? But hey, that's pretty cool, right? I love tomato and mayonnaise sandwiches because my mama was nice enough to leave me some tomatoes and white bread like my women and coffee, cake ups, all that stuff. Hunter, that's not for you. I don't think you even like tomatoes, do you? I don't know. What about you, Smoke? Do you like tomatoes? I'll take that as a yes. So I'm not gonna obsess over Spies vs. Mercs in this video, I don't wanna annoy people who don't care about video games, but I will comment on the gameplay mode of Spies vs. Mercs and how I feel about it in my future tech haul video, which obviously I will feature, blacklist in. What was I gonna do? Oh yeah, get bread. Uh, but I will say this real quick, I am enjoying it, it's definitely tough, I mean the same Difficulty factor that was there in Pandora Tomorrow and Chaos Theory, it is there in Blacklist, which is a very good thing because I hate multiplayer games that are too easy, just run and gun. No, 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 no. Spies vs. Mercs highly encourages you to work as a team, to just be stealthy as a mother, and let me say this, it's the same as Pandora Tomorrow and Chaos Theory in that being a Merc, as expected, is a lot easier than being a spy. So it's very interesting. Now I will say I'm not enjoying the crap out of it. I mean, I mean, I'm not obsessed with the game yet, but it's but it's only because I haven't, you know, earned all my upgrades. Because unlike Pandora Tomorrow and Gas Theory, you actually have to buy upgrades. So that should be fun. Guys, don't fight, Hunter. You're obsessed with Shane, but um, I can definitely see myself enjoying it more and more within the next couple of days. I just have to earn all the upgrades and learn the maps obviously because I am still in training mode I actually haven't played any like truly ranked matches so it's gonna be a lot of fun so for those wondering that's all it is I mean it's literally white bread tomato mayonnaise and a little bit of salt and then boom it's incredibly complex I know but it's so good hunters in rage mode
Look at that booty. Hunter, go. Go, go. Get down. Get, get up. Go. Hunter, what are you trying to get? He's digging for something. Hunter, what are you digging for? What is it? What is it? <laughs> are you mining? A la Minecraft? Here. What are you... Here. Hunter, I don't know. Ow. There's a bone down there. I, I, come on, calm down. Calm down. I got it. Go. Good boy. It's nice having fingers. Yeah, yeah. Hunter was just freaking out. I had him running around the house. What's awesome is, is going to one spot, kind of like Splinter Cell. I know, I'm gonna relate a freaking game to Hunter. Hunter, yeah. And yes, I really pronounce my T's. Notice that Hunter, I don't, I don't say Hunter. Like H-U-N-N-E-R. Hunter, H-U-N-T-E-R. Tomato, not Omo. Wait, how do you say tomato without the T's? Omeo. Oh, mayo. Sounds like a song about mayonnaise. Anyway, it's so much fun just going in one location and having him thinker there, like I said, like Splinter Cell, because you see this translucent outline of Sam Fisher. Um, and then changing locations and seeing him go to the location and then, um, what's the word? Not breach him. I'm not going to breach him with C4. That'd be horrible. Uh, what's the word? We're a flank. Yeah, I uh, flank him. Hunter, that is not your cage. Get out. Well, that was fun. Always a good time with Hunter Pants. Hunter Pants. I'm so weird. Whatever. So I'm making coffee, as seen here. And then I'm going to jump into some hardcore playtime with Spies vs. Mercs. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'm going to take the next at least few hours getting my upgrades and gear. Um, and getting ready for when I go back to my house because I will say playing playing on my Samsung TV Rather than my parents pioneer TV upstairs is so much better the brightness level is so much better on my TV Just the resolution even looks better. I know it's both 1080p, but just the way the colors are um, Displayed on the panel and it just looks better and the uh, text is actually a lot sharper for whatever reason, the text on the Pioneer TV upstairs, it doesn't look that great. I actually have to squint sometimes just to read it. And I should also note, upstairs does not have surround sound. My setup in my house does have surround sound. So that's going to be really cool actually hearing the game as it's intended because, let's face it, uh, speakers on the TV usually aren't that good. And I'm not going to lie, the speakers upstairs on that TV are not really that good at all. So it's going to be really nice to have my surround sound again and have that advantage of hearing spies or mercs behind me and hopefully taking advantage of that. I, I freaking love technology in video games. It's just, we're so lucky to be alive right now. It it's just great. I just wish more people would stop complaining and start appreciating more. Okay, very good news. I just played my first couple matches of an actual Spies vs. Mercs classic mode. Now my last clip I was explaining the upgrades and whatever, that only applies to Spies vs. Mercs blacklist mode as well as the training mode which you should play before any of the other modes and you kind of have to to level up to rank 5 to unlock the other modes, but regardless. This is awesome to see. So not only do you have Spies vs. Mercs Classic, which is just like Chaos Theory and Pandora Tomorrow, but obviously with high res graphics, different maps and whatever, um, that's exactly what it's like. And then you have Spies vs. Mercs Blacklist mode, which is just like Spies vs. Mercs Classic mode, but with the gear upgrades, class customization, which is awesome. So that way you can choose your, you know, different goggles, your different gear. Uh, for you know higher stealth or whatever or thermal or night vision or motion tracking all that stuff The game is huge guys, and I highly suggest you check it out I mean it really is that good now. I gotta say I do miss things such as a spy bullet It kills me to see that that's not in the game and the um, the laser tracking where you go through a laser and it puts and it puts a spy on a map um, And they don't really realize it, but the mercs obviously do know that way they can stalk you and kill you but regardless of the things that are missing, it is really good and I can definitely see myself putting a lot of time into this. I mean, currently I'm only level 6 and you have to get to like level 50 or something to unlock the really good stuff. So I'm definitely going to be playing this a lot. I just wanted to fill you guys in because I was a little worried. Um, it's definitely different a little bit than the uh, classic Spice vs. Mercs from years ago in 2004. 
uh, but it definitely is good enough and that excitement factor is back and there's just something really really creepy about sneaking around as a merc looking for spies in the dark and putting your flashlight on but that's the thing sometimes you want to keep your flashlight off because people I mean the spies might see if your flashlight's on it's really all common sense but still it's such an awesome experience it's shower time Jasmine what does the day hold for you anything productive anything fascinating anything involving Cookies? Cookies, come on. Come on, Jess. Cookies. Jessen. I love her, but she's one stubborn doggy. What are you barking at? What is that? It's a hunter at the truck. People have them, people drive them. Why don't you try driving sometime? Instead of just sitting around all day, eating dog food. Actually, that seems like a good life. By the way, if you're wondering where that music's coming from, my pocket. There. Music is definitely something I'm a huge fan of. I mean, I don't talk about it too much in my videos, but I am into a large variety of music. Let's get some natural light in here. Look at that difference. Come on. But yeah, I mean, whether it's classical, dubstep, pop, rock, 80s, 90s, a little bit of rap here and there, some hip-hop. Uh, I like it all basically, except for country. Sorry country fans, I'm not really a fan. Unless maybe it's like one or two songs here and there, then yes, I like country. But I'm not really a fan of riding on my tractor, feeding my cows, you know. I know that's not what they say, so calm down, it's a joke, it's a joke. Right, Smokey? Right. Yet again. Brew. Brewing. Coffee cup. I don't know why I'm talking like this. Oh, you know what really bothers me? When people online spell the word this as dis. Like, yo, this game is off the heezy. Stop it. Please. Saying this in person, whatever. It's fun. If it's your style, then awesome. But if you're online with a freaking keyboard in front of you, just uh, T H T H T freaking H not this shit is whack. No, this shit is whack. Shaney. That was a pretty cool angle. Jasmine, come on. Come on, Jasmine, we're going in here. I'm gonna watch Wilfred. And speaking of Wilfred guys, seriously, season two, not that season one was bad. But season two is so much better. It's hilarious. Yesterday's episode, I can't really say it's kind of inappropriate. There's no right way to say it. I don't want to offend anyone. But let me just say this. It had a sexual aspect to it, but in some way you never expect. It's so funny. But if you want to see what I'm talking about, go to uh, Wilford season two, and the episode is called Avoidance. So just watch it if you're into that sort of thing. And I gotta say, this show has really grown on me. I mean, season two is really good. I only have like three episodes left, or four maybe. Why are those lights on? Because I left them on last night, that's why. There you go, David. Wasting electricity. Oh! Good. So yeah, if you're looking for a new show, give it a shot. <laughs> Homie, are you dancing? Looks like you're a dancer. Good. Go back and forth. Pants back away from the bird. <laughs> I will laugh if he snaps your nose. Psh. Look at this shadow. It actually makes me think of, I think, Silo. The map Silo in uh, Spies vs. Mercs. God. Spider Mark's classic is so much fun. I will be making a first impressions video on that hopefully sometime this week. I might be working with my dad this week. I think I am. So my time is going to be kind of limited. But I'll do the best I can. I am here with Chris. 
Dude, what up? What's up? And Tiff. Chris's car is still getting fixed. Yeah. Explain, dude, real quick. What is it? I said they're getting rebuilt. Good. I told him that. I was oh, like, I don't you know. Got it, you got it right? Yeah, I was like, I think <laughs> it's rebuilding the transmission. <laughs> so we're a train, well, alloy trains and things. We don't know what things means. Um, but this is their new train place because track 69 closed. Guys, I can take Sad. something. I got it. You keep recording. Okay. So I'll get to show you guys. Check out the scenery. It's very campy. Way out in the boondocks. Boondock Saints. <laughs> We're inside now, and I gotta say, this train layout is very impressive. Especially that little part. I was just telling Tiff how it's dug out. I see it didn't do a little bit of uh, construction or whatever. It's cool. It's very impressive. It's actually pretty big, right? I was gonna say yes. There's, There's Tiff. Another side. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> and then over here, obviously, this part. Why are you so cool? They're still working on it, including that. Oh, that was my knee crack. Did you hear that? <laughs> I thought you smacked yourself. No, my knee. This bridge actually goes down over here. Yes. That is so cool. I love stuff like that. I, mean, I don't know much about trains, but As I love that see, idea. It comes from here and it's gonna yeah. go to there. That's actually okay. fascinating. This is cool, a little city. Mm -hmm. Very nice. It's a little dark right now, but you guys get the idea. Mm -hmm. We've been back from the train store for Probably an hour now, right? Something like that, yeah. Yeah, we stopped at Wild on the way back. I got a cheesesteak hoagie with bacon. What did you get, dude? Meatball with pepperoni. Just one giant meatball wrapped in pepperoni. Yeah. Nah, meatball sandwich. Anyway, Chris bought two trains, but I just want to tell you, he was going in there for a specific model, and he went up to it and it said sold. It looked like he was going to cry. I felt so bad for him. <laughs> but it turns out Tiff already reserved it or whatever you want to say. Pretty much, yeah. Uh, so that sold sign was actually their sold sign. And this is it right here. So it was a very nice surprise. There she is. I'll pull it out with the little... I've always liked that. Little straps, yeah. Makes it a lot easier. So you traded in your big boy, right? I but you got another big boy. My big boy and my Conrail. Because they were lying out. Look oh, at that color. That's so nice. This is the MTH GE Evolution Hybrid. You that is that, very that cool. here will have charging lights. They'll flash as it's ch like charging, technically. It looks sweet. It'll look pretty cool. Let's see some close ups. Certain nice green and blue candy. color scheme. Yeah. Makes you think of like candy or bubble gum or something like mm -hmm. that. Very nice. The train is on the track. And it's smoking. And it's car. Gotta move the thumb wheel up and it'll start moving. Smoky in here. It's getting foggy. I like the that much, is it? It's gonna slow it down a little bit. So then like 20. Then I hit engine. Go to the Berkshire. Let's start up on that. This one's obviously a lot longer. Yeah. Well, I didn't put any cars in the other one yet. Yeah. You getting smoked down, dude? I know. I'm gonna die down here from smoke inhalation. There it is. Oh, there we go. There's one. <laughs> nice. What up, peeps? I am home for the night. Today has been a long, but a very good day. It's always fun spending time with Chris and Tiff. Come on, get the food out of the bag. Uh, as as you can hopefully see, that alleyway trains and things place was really cool. I mean, I didn't expect to enjoy it that much because I'm not into trains yet, but I do appreciate them, obviously, as a hobby. It's a very cool hobby, very expensive at that. Uh, but the fact, well, I didn't, I didn't show this on camera, but, for, uh, well, okay. Firstly, it's a family-owned business, which is awesome in itself. But secondly, you didn't see this on the uh, video, but they actually have like a workshop on the side for working on restoring old cars. They have a workshop slash crafting place where they mold stuff and it's just a really impressive place. Um, I really wish I could have showed it to you guys, but I don't want to get up on their business, but they happen to give us a personal tour because Chris and Tiff are regular customers there. So that was really cool, but um, 
Then afterwards we went to all these different places, spent some time at Chris and Tiff's house and all that stuff. But I went to Wawa to get chicken strips and mac and cheese, which I'm going to heat up a little bit right now. Then I'm going to enjoy the rest of my night by playing, while well, watching Wilford and then playing a little bit of Spies vs. Mercs and then whatever else, who knows. Excellent news guys, I just opened up a new partnership with a brand new website called AppNana.com. Yes, Nana as in Grandma, that's actually what I used to call my grandma. God rest her soul. Anyway, check it out, go to AppNana.com slash the creative one. Use my invitation code right below to get 2,500 free Nanas towards paid apps for completely free or PayPal cash, Amazon gift cards, and more stuff like that. Now, this is just like other services that I've promoted in the past, but this actually gives you 2,500 points just for signing up and using my code. Then obviously the more points you get, the more PayPal cash you can get, Amazon gift cards, paid apps for free. It's all good stuff, and it is available for iOS and Android, so everyone is welcome. All right, guys, so if you're interested, again, use that link right below and that invitation code, and you will get 2,500 points right there for completely free at sign up. And that's it. I mean, if you guys have any questions, just let me know. I'm always happy to help, and I'll definitely be talking about this in future videos. David, do not put that on there. What? I get a noise. Oh, the sniff? Yeah. Don't worry, it's not going on there. As you can see, mom and dad are home from Seaside Hazel. Yes. Mom, how was it? Wonderful. Can we do it out here? Yes. The lighting is better and the echo is weird. The heck happened to my clean room? So, anything happened? Oh gosh, David took over. Oh no, it was fun. A lot of... Shout out to Xander. Party and his people. sister? Yes, we got spotted. What, what, is it, what is his sister's name? Did you get it? I didn't get it. Okay. That's okay. Xander and his family. Um, spotted us. Caught mom and dad on the boardwalk, which is, which is always fun. All of a sudden he's like, can we get a picture with you? And we're looking at each other. He's like, we watched David's video. I was like, oh, sure. <laughs> that was just funny, but awkward. Look at the box flying. I, I love know. that. Look, if you move quickly to the left and right, it'll still fly. Isn't that cool? Huh? I lost you for a second. It's got you. All right, so we're going to do an interesting water thing where mom puts... Yeah, because... A very cold thing of water with a thing of ice in it. But Munch always does On my me. stomach. So, let me see my reaction. Don't, oh, I thought you, you were going to throw it on me. You can't expect it, though. Alright. I'm going to try not to flinch. I'm so scared right now. <laughs> Just do it! No! Don't... Okay. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Let's <laughs> go like that. I'm scared. Okay, now we do. No! <laughs> No! I hate it! I hate it! No! No! And you're back? Yes! I'm sorry, help me! <laughs> Isn't it amazing how we hate the feeling of cold water? Hunter wants to be- But hot water what we love. What is that? What is that? That is something Hunter tore up yesterday. Ew, Hunter, I felt your dong. Where is it from? Look, and Hunter tore this up last night. Where is it he's from? He's bad, Mom. He's not, he's not as good as you think he is. Wait, where is this from? He was showing it over there. Pants in the pool, pants in the pool. Oh, like a pool. Pants in the pool. <laughs> Hi, Hunter. Hi, Hunter. Hunter just pooped. <laughs> and the next thing he does is goes in the pool. <laughs> Nothing better than that, right, Hunter? <laughs> Shake it off of mom. Hunter. Hi, baby. Mom was nice enough to get me this on their way home. I hide it under the diving board. Coffee! Now, yes, it is hot out here, which is a good thing. So drinking hot coffee on a hot day. Ah! <laughs> I'm such a baby. It It'll be interesting to see how my face looks on camera when I edit this. <laughs> um, but the thing is, the pool water might be a little cold because yesterday it was actually chilly out. We uh, had a nice cold front pass through. Yeah, that's ready. Go get it. We actually wore sweatshirts last night in the boardwalk. So what I'm getting at here is hot coffee, cool water. It's a nice mix. Hi. Get Hunter, not me. He's cuter. Hunter! <laughs> Isn't he cuter, people? What's Comment that? below. What's that you were saying before? We actually wore sweatshirts in the um, boardwalk last night. It was cool. Really? Yeah. Oh my god. Shut up! It's the first time this year! I don't know about you, but I love the cold weather, Mom. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Yeah. One of the many reasons why I love Jersey, because we get all four seasons seasons equally. We get brutal winters, we get hot winter, uh, hot summers, we get nice and cool springs and nice and cool falls, right? Yeah. You gotta admit. Oh, I like summer. 
I mean, I can't imagine hot weather all year round or, like cold, or cold weather all year round. I, I like, like it balanced. For clothing. Yeah. Hey, Jazz. I can't believe you missed the running cow. What you doing? Yeah, apparently we had a bunch of running cows um, here. I, I, I guess I got loose yesterday. And figures, I missed it. That would have been an honor to ride a cow. <laughs> That would have been so cool. Speaking of cows, I can't wait to get back into Minecraft tonight. I've, I've been having withdrawal. I don't think cows are even in. Wait, are, are cows in Minecraft? Yeah, yeah, they are, right? Yeah, there's pigs, sheep. I'm pretty sure there's cows. I'm still some of a, somewhat of a Minecraft noob. What? I look good? Now, I'm white again with a little bit of flab. Come on, Hunter. Uh, water's not bad. Oh, cool. Uh, just have some of my nose, but it's all good. Yeah. Mom is awesome. She just made me a tomato and mayo sandwich. Mayonnaise. Mayonnaise. Hi, Ma. Hi. You look so tall. <laughs> You're like dominating me. Dad, okay. And Dad's over there. Dad, say hi. I'm vlogging. Oh, God. <laughs> he says, oh, God. As you can see, we get music on. Guys, what does this song make you think of? Listen. Circuit City, right? That right there is good marketing. Well, unfortunately, Circuit City's dead. Except for CircuitCity.com, they're actually still in business, if you're not aware. Jamion? All right, I'm gonna enjoy my sandwich. I just wanted to update you real quick. Like uh, Dickamar. Mom, you got dark. No, what is that noise? Oh, Jesus, he's drumming. <laughs> you said you sound like an actor. Did you see what Sully said? You, you and Dad replaced me and Chris and on the boardwalk as actors. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Yeah, that's drumming. Let's go see. Please go. You can't do it? So loud. So loud, isn't it? My poor microphone. Oh no. What? I think you have to somewhere. Ew. Woman problems. <laughs> Leaking nail polish. I'm glad I don't have that issue. Guys, look, I got sun. Yes. Another day of sun. Amazing. Whose iTunes gift card is this? David, I'm glad my mom appreciates her gifts so freaking well. I just get I know. Yeah, I know. You gotta pace yourself. You can't buy stuff just to buy stuff. You gotta use it to buy stuff that you'll really enjoy. Like. David, don't like you're in pain when you do that. A scrapbooking app, Kristen? Yes. Shut it off, Kristen. It's a Kristen gift. Oh. All because you scratched my freaking face. I just scratched Mon's face with the bottle cap. It hurts too. Yeah, it does. Yeah. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna take a risk. You know, Mom's driving. I did it. It was a soft scratch. She freaked out. And then I found out I was drinking Mom's water the whole time. <laughs> so then I proceeded to spit on the window because I had this weird thing about sharing drinks. I mean, I will, like, if I'm at a party and I'm drunk or whatever with, like, friends. I'm like, yeah, whatever. I'll try that. But. No, he uh, straight up spit on my window. No, it's fine. You, you, you can't even tell. Get a little chip in there. <laughs> Guys, I got sun today. Right? Yep. Look! Oh my god, yeah, big time. Yes. What are you smiling at? You. I was gonna say we all get sun every day. No, I like No, I like I like getting sun because let's face it, I'm in front of my uh my pro all day. Oh, this country? Yes. For some reason I feel like wrangling some cows together. Why don't you just shush and like it? Nah. An order of cheese fries with cheese on the side. And an Italian hoagie with a little bit of mayo. And can I get hot peppers on the side? And that's it.
Thank you. Bye. I never know if he knows it's me. I feel awkward. So it was, it was Alex? <laughs> yeah. I'm 48. Guys, right. Wawa was a huge success. I got a pre-coffee cappuccino. Is that awesome or what? That's a true sign of addiction. <laughs> because I'm getting coffee later, so I might as well get something while I'm here. I can't not get coffee, it's just weird. Speaking of which, we um, passed a crap load of Wawa's going So to I got a 12 ounce, which is insanely tiny, it's like a shot. A 12 ounce mocha wake up with a little bit of milk. So that should be good. I'm gonna say it again, I got a lot of sun. Yeah, you did. Yo guys, Acme was awesome. Yes. I got so much good food. I spent $86. Yeah, but Dave, but that's gonna be first. I know. But I got paid by DeFranco Hosting. Which is funny. Is, I'm, I'm like paying myself. I got paid by DeFranco Hosting over the weekend and, and I sold a few ads over at DavidDeFranco.com on the left sidebar. You click on my, your site here. It's $5 advertising. It's cheap. Who are you talking to? I just, I don't know, I'm talking. I love to talk. <laughs> so we just ordered raised pizza, food, right? Pizza, really for raised, food. food. And we didn't order pizza out. though. We got raised, wait, we got pizza. What am I saying? I got a pizza steak with a side of fries and cheese with everyone. What did you get? <laughs> what did you get, Mom? It's not exactly how you got. You got cheese fries with the cheese on the side. What do you call it? A side of fries and cheese. <laughs> That sounds weird. I know, that sounds weird. I'm I, a weird person. I got an Italian ho e half for tonight, half for lunch tomorrow. Clue guess is explosive. I know, so is David's farts. <laughs> But I already have a black canister back there. It does smell like straight up chlorine in here. <laughs> Dad, say hi. You haven't been in this vlog, really. Hey, peeps. Anything new happening in Plane World? Or Train World? Anything? Yeah, he opened two of them. Yeah, let's show him. Well, the, there's a the box. Did Where is it, Dad? You took them really? Out. Look at Dad's Furby collection. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you have so many Furbies? He rescued them. Dinner was a huge success. Yeah. I had a pizza steak. Yeah. It was so good. And filling. And ooh, look at this. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> so weird. And we had a side of cheese with a side of fries. No, David. I just cheese fries. I mean, a side, side of fries with a side of cheese. I even said that backwards. <laughs> now we are going to watch an episode of Wilfred. Deb, are you in a box? And I know exactly which one I'm going to show I need my to parents. Show this and this in a Should box. be good. Guys are? How the heck did you beat me home? Explain that one. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this weekend's vlog. Hopefully you enjoyed. Maui is back inside. He was out for a few days. I was worried about him. But I left him plenty of food and water. And he obviously has been hungry because he came in right away and ate. So it's all good. Anyway guys, again, I hope you enjoyed the vlog. Hopefully it was exciting. I don't really remember too much of what I did. Well, I went to Alloway Trains and things, which was fun. It's always fun hanging out with Chris and Tiff. And obviously swimming with the pants and the pool as you saw and hanging out with mom and dad and all that good stuff. Also, I just found out today we're having a party next weekend for Labor Day. So that should be fun. And that will definitely turn into a vlog. I can promise you that. It just happens to be the weekend. So weekend vlog it works out perfect. Anyway, guys, I'm going to unpack all my groceries I got from Acme and enjoy my coffee and play Spies vs. Marks, all that good stuff. Thanks again for watching. Thank you for continued support. Sorry for the quick sign off. I just have a lot to do. And I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Peace. Meow.